What is up everybody? Michael here with Work for Avocados. If you recall last week, I hurt my back really badly swapping out the fridge. So I'm meeting up with my physical therapist today and we're gonna see if I'm gonna be in shape to do the climbing competition this Saturday and hit to the landscape park. So fingers crossed, I'm really hoping it works out well. That's happened. Has it gotten better or worse or stayed the same? I'd say it's gotten better. Okay. Um, it started to feel better every day. I'm able to walk around the block, but I'm still feeling not quite confident in doing anything else yet. Okay. It's still there. Right. Okay. Let's do this. Uh, can you go ahead and stand up for me? Yeah. And I'm gonna look at your I'm gonna look at your shoulder first. You're gonna do four movements. Is it cracking? It's just, I just feel like the skin tissue is releasing. Uh huh. <laughs> that? Yeah. Hypermobile joint right there. Oh. Does that hurt? Is it supposed to have a lot of movement or like normal? Some people are just built like that. They're built different. See that redness there? Yeah. That's, that's what is thought to be kind of lay down as far as uh, adhesion formation, you know? Do you want to do any needling, Mike? Yeah? Okay. Mm. Have you ever had it? No. Okay. <laughs> so I think it's a good, I think it's a good thing for this in particular. It's really pretty comfortable. I feel a little funny at first, but nothing. What is it? It's called, it's a, it's a, a current, electrical current. Oh. Yeah. For the muscle belly and that's a, uh, that's essentially what we're after. We're trying to fatigue out some, uh, there's an element of the muscle that has an abnormal neurotransmitter response. That's the theory. I like the theory because of the physiology, because of the physiology. How does that, how does that feel? Is it already happening? Yeah, you feel that? Not really, no. This one's like twitching. Look at that muscle. I feel it too. Yeah. There it goes. Mm -hmm. Can you tolerate that? Yeah. Is it strong? Um, it's strong, but not like painful. Good, good. He lives. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and stand up here, Matt. Let's see what that. Let's see how far you can get. You can get. Uh -huh. So much further, right? Yeah. Okay, how about if you reach behind your back with this one? Now, this was the one last time I got you. Your, your range is way better yeah. in that position. Let's do this. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you a couple things to do. You're going to tuck your chin, and then you're going to punch out. I'm going to try and squat a little bit. If you can find something with some weight to it. You know, just coming back once every two weeks or once every month just to like get work done. Yeah. A lot of people do that. Yeah. It's like, the thing is, if you're active, if you're doing a lot of stuff on the wall, if you're in the water, if you're skating a bunch, you know, stuff just comes off. So yeah. in a traditional clinic, they're gonna say, oh, we gotta do a whole eve out. It's like, no, no. Once you've got three eve out, we just address whatever the problem is that day and then we continue to move on. So I notoriously overdo things, so that's yeah. definitely <laughs> something I wanna keep doing for yeah. sure. Shout out to Steve over here at Stone Climbing. He is a miracle worker. I'm feeling pretty good about the contest now. So bringing Kayla to work and uh, I'm coming back in here because he said I should climb a little bit, which I was very happy to hear that. I wanted to be shocked with needles. I was very jealous of that, but it was cool watching um, how you couldn't reach at one point and then your mobility of reaching from there. It's pretty awesome. Happy you're feeling better. Happy you're climbing. I'm not going to the contest of being forced to climb. It would have been embarrassing, but. You know, they're saying oh, there's not enough room for spectators, but they don't know I got a camera crew, so. I got press pass. This is also her car, so that's how it got there, so yeah. Sorry. If you want me, you get in her. Yeah. That's right. All right, Kayla's going to work. We're going to go climb. Even though I'm living right by the water, I haven't been surfing much because I've actually been spending a ton of time at the bouldering gym across town. 
Stone Climbing is this massive facility that opened up in town last year. And it's this awesome place where they have a ton of different sections to climb. This one here is actually called the Cave and it's modeled after Chopu the Wave, but if it were a right. It's a really surf inspired gym, super solid crew. Uh, it's really easy to come in here a couple days a week to just spend two or three hours playing upside down on a roof and forget that you're even working out. I find a lot of parallels to it in surfing uh, in situations like this where you're in a really intense situation, but you need to figure out what the next step is. You just got to remember to breathe, stay calm and alert and figure out what the next move is. And it's actually helped me in my surfing in a couple other ways. If that's a video you guys might be interested, leave a comment below and if it gets enough traction, then maybe I'll do one on that. This is a fumer bone. We can climb it. All right, so checking in before the contest starts, I'm in the beginner category. I feel like I'm in this weird period of in between beginner and intermediate. Uh, I can't do about two thirds of the intermediate stuff, but I feel super comfortable in beginner stuff. So I'm just here to have fun. I don't really know what to expect. Uh, I hope I didn't just put myself in too easy of a category, but I also don't want to just be able to do 20% of the other stuff. So I don't know. Woo! Hello, thank you for being here. You get as many attempts on every rock climb as you want. You can climb whatever rock climb you want. You will be scored on your five highest routes. We will have four hours to rock climb. We are going to start at exactly 11 o'clock on the dot, actually on time. Actually that. Thank you all for coming out. So stoked to have you guys out. So set your timers, 3 o'clock. That's all you got. Since I wasn't quite sure where I stood, I figured the best place to start would be the very top of the list. I wasn't being penalized on the number of routes that I would try. So my strategy was to just try all of them until I started getting into the harder problems that I wasn't able to complete.
got it, babe. Ah. All right, so we have another wheel we're faced with. If you remember a few weeks ago, I had terrible luck with the wheel. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. So Kayla's gonna spin the wheel and see what we win. I'm pretty lucky. I mean, you got me, so. Right, we're here for the black shirt again. Appreciate it. Cool. And don't forget to spin the wheel. Oh, yeah. Terrible luck. Wow, that was wow. <laughs> that was, was that a good one. Did you land on liquid a good one? chalk? I never used you, liquid you chalk before. It, you went to liquid chalk, you spin it again. I'd rather spin it. Yeah. That's okay. I didn't know. It was I, gonna be that hard. I never want to hear you say that again. <laughs> I didn't know. It was, was gonna be <laughs> chunky monkey. monkey. Nice. Perfect. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate it. I wasn't it. ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the time, like, wheels are easier to spin, but that yeah, one. Yeah, I hear a bunch of excuses is what I hear. <laughs> we just got done with the judging. It was very rigged. I did tremendously. Probably, probably did the most out of anybody in there. I did the most. All right, so to wrap Judges. things up, we had a great time there. Shout out to Dino Climb for putting on an awesome event. Shout out to Kayla for filming, coming along, and providing the transportation. And shout out to Stone Climbing for getting me this far. Uh, it was an awesome event. I probably should have just stopped at the beginning while I was ahead, but that's called sandbagging, and we don't believe in that and work for avocados. You gotta give it your all, uh, even if you're not gonna win. Because it's all about pushing yourself. It's not about the trophy. Trophy would have been nice. We would have gotten in a bag. bag. Would have gotten a climbing bag. I probably should have done it for the climbing bag. Man, my mustache is all messed up. Sorry. Someone commented about how great of a mustache you have, so there's a win. So we're letting the phone charge for a minute. We are super hungry. We're super tired. Um, but for you guys, I'm bringing you some bonus skate content. I'm gonna push through. Kayla's gonna stay in the AC because she's it's done hot. done so much for me today already. But uh, I owe it to you guys. Thanks for watching this. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. There's plenty more along the way, plenty more surfing, skating, and being stoked on the small stuff. And now there's also rock climbing. Y'all know what it is. One of these in my car. Oh, shut up! Love it. And oh, and I, I meant to say, uh, your uh, all your the rock climbing you've been doing, rock wall. That was great. Man. Thanks, man. Yeah.